Unfortunately, it's an especially busy day for emergency rooms. A spike in fireworks injuries as well as burns. Surprisingly, though, tomorrow is expected to be just as busy. Um, everything from simple burns to the fingers um, to finger amputations to limb amputations. Physicians at the Grossman Burn Unit and Research Medical Center see it all, especially when the 4th of July rolls around. The 4th of July actually started for us a little earlier this year. We've already had um, quite a few burn patients um, that have been victims of fireworks. The Grossman Burn Unit has been full for months. A majority of the injuries they've seen the past few weeks have been from fireworks, particularly homemade explosives. Like the case of a KC man who lost his life after his homemade fireworks exploded in his home. That's the most devastating thing we've seen so far this, this year. After the last bang goes off on the 4th of July, hospital staff aren't in the clear yet. They say the 5th of July is just as busy, with people waking up after a night of partying to realize that they're more injured than they thought. Also, burns are progressive in nature, so they get worse the second day. Research Medical Center staff hope this year people will heed their warning. It may be fun to hear a loud bang, but it's, it's not worth your life. Now, nurses also tell us even the smallest things like sparklers, those are also very dangerous. They can do a lot of damage because they can get up to 2,000 degrees. Wow. Now, we know there are a lot of different degrees of burns when it comes to fires. Uh, how do you know when's the time to go to the hospital and when's the time to treat it at home? That's a great question. And the nurses actually told us if you have a burn that doesn't hurt and it's white and looks leathery, that's most likely a third degree burn and you need to get to the ER. Now, if your burn blisters, that's typically first or second degree. And those can typically be treated at home, especially if it's smaller. They say use cool water and a clean cloth. And they also say never follow those old wives' tales that tell you to put things like butter or meat on it, that will cause an infection.